I'm going to lower rates across the board for all Americans by 20 percent. All right. Number one, I, vote, I said today that we're going to cut taxes on everyone across the country by 20 percent, including the top one percent. Including the top one percent. I have to ask you, are you calling Mitt Romney a liar? Yes. Well, sure, I'd like to clear up the record and go through piece by piece. First of all, I don't have a $5 trillion tax cut. I don't have a tax cut of the scale that you're talking about. My view is that we ought to provide tax relief to people in the middle class. But I'm not going to reduce the share of taxes paid by high-income people. High-income people are doing just fine in this economy. I, vote, I said today that we're going to cut taxes on everyone across the country by 20 percent, including the top 1 percent. I mean, this is someone... Who, who will say anything to get elected. And finally, with regards to that tax cut, look, I'm not looking to cut massive taxes and to reduce the, the revenues going to the government. My, my number one principle is there'll be no tax cut that adds to the deficit. I want to underline that. No tax cut that adds to the deficit. But I do want to reduce the burden pay, being paid by middle-income Americans. And, I ha and to do that, that also means I cannot reduce the burden paid by high-income Americans. So any, any uh, language to the contrary is simply not accurate. Including the top 1%. I don't know, maybe you have another word for it. Only word I knew in Arkansas, we kind of kept it simple there. We called it dishonest. Number two, I will not reduce the share paid by high-income individuals. You stood here in front of the American people and did not tell the truth. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to, I haven't. I'm not familiar precisely with exactly what I said, but I stand by what I said, whatever it was. There are 47% of the people who will vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. I'm running for office for Pete's sake.